Hey, my name is Charlotte Jarvis, and I'm an artist who collaborates with scientists. So Music of the Spheres started um, when I was putting up another exhibition in Suffolk. And that exhibition was to do with DNA. And I got an email from a scientist who I hadn't met yet called Nick Goldman. And essentially what he was saying was that he could use DNA as a data storage medium. Now that doesn't maybe sound that exciting said like that, but what it essentially means is that he could take any file on your computer, a picture, a film, anything at all, and store it, encode it into a DNA molecule, into this ultimate language of life. I think it's really uh, natural that artists want to use DNA um, because DNA and the associated to technologies are what are changing the world. You know, this is what is changing our perception of ourselves and our perception of the environment. And that is what artists are interested in. I wanted a way of exhibiting the DNA that was romantic and kind of ephemeral. I wanted a way of showing the same sense of wonder that I felt when I looked at Nick's technology. And I also wanted something that was to do with music because it's music that we've encoded in to the DNA. Um, so I came to the solution that um, soap would be the way to do this. So uh, what I do is I suspend the DNA in soap solution and I use it to blow bubbles. And those bubbles fill the air just like music. And most importantly, they pop on your skin. So when you walk out of the exhibition, you take the musical recording with you.